Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Hey, guys. We Welcome once again to Learn Math with me, Brian Sapinski, and Brianna here once once again. Hi. We're both we're both here ready to continue our our quest to help you guys with your distance learning stuff or whatever here on Thursday, March 26th, 2020. It is 2 p.m. live on the East Coast, however, and hopefully, as always, hopefully, uh, you know, Google and YouTube are maintaining because he has uh, ice cream cone. A lo a lo <laughs> you with the ice cream cone again. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we hope we hope everything doesn't uh, fall off the cone because uh, I was here. I was. Uh, we got an email about an hour ago from our uh, from our tech guy in Belleville or whatever that was saying that you know, like Google worldwide is experiencing some slowdowns or whatever. So hopefully that will not affect us, and hopefully it won't uh, stop you guys from uh, getting some math help uh, from us today. You guys know the deal, okay? The live chat is waiting right right below. You know, tell us what you want us to do in, in the live chat. You know, to you know, give us a hand, give us uh, more ideas for stuff you want uh, to see. Take anything you want help on. At the same time, if you're not comfortable with using the live chat, send, send an email to me right now at this address, brian.spinski@gmail.com. I've got my phone on me, so I'll see if a message comes through, and you can send me topics that you know that way too. Please, you know, please help and please keep us company because it me it means a lot to us when you guys you know give us assistance. And even if you don't want any help. Just you know, just say hello. You know, like I said, you've seen how silly and crazy and chaotic we get, or whatever. Okay, we're gonna hopefully keep it a little more in control today. Yeah. Okay, well, we still have our fun, but you, you know, you know what I mean. Just don't let it get over your head. All right. And besides, we're gonna we're gonna have a a, a little bit of number fun with something uh, something that I'm planning on today and uh, things like that. So stuff that my discreet is doing because. They're getting into my favorite stuff now. So mm -hmm. you'll see what happens when we get there. All right. First, I want to hand on one of your questions while I'm waiting for some of you guys to uh, to give your submissions here. Okay. I'm looking at this one word problem that's uh, that's got a lot of uh, numerical information to keep. He's enjoying to... Okay. I tell you yesterday. Okay. Stay with me here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's a lot of information that uh, your... Um, that uh, your one word problem here is, uh, you know, getting into here. So let, let's let's take a look at this information, okay? Uh, it's mentioning here, okay, that Greg is volunteering at a track meet. He's in charge of providing the bottled water, and he knows these facts. Okay, it says, okay, the track meet will last three days. Make a note of this, three days. Okay, so we got that. Uh, it says um, the people that are there. Okay, there's 117 athletes. 117 athletes. Okay, there's going to be more information coming with that in just a minute. Okay, uh, seven coaches. Seven coaches. And four and four judges. Four judges. Okay. Now, it also says that each of each of those people attending is going is going to get a certain number of is going to get. <laughs> Joey's excited downstairs, but then again, whenever somebody uh, comes in the house, he gets a little uh, uh, crazy here. Okay. Now, Brian. It also says here how many bottles of water each of those people get each day during uh, during the track meet. How so, much water? So, so make a note first. Okay, each of the athletes four four bottles of water a day. Okay. All right. Okay. The coaches need three a day. And the judges need two. Okay. All right. So let's so let's sort this out then. Okay. Now 
the question the question wants to know okay and there's one one ev, uh, extra little detail okay we're gonna we're gonna put it right here because uh we'll get right there one case of uh, one case of bottled water contains 24 bottles. So one case equals 24 bottles. Right. The question wants to know what is the fewest number of cases of bottled water Greg will need to, uh, uh, to buy to be able to provide for all the athletes during the track meet. Okay. So there's your, so that's everything that we got that we got to sort out there. Okay, so first let's start with the inf with the immediate information that we know. Okay, 117 athletes, they get four bottles of water a day. So, okay, so in all three of these cases, what op what operations are going to happen? Okay, so for so for here we so for here we've got 117 times times four. For here we've got seven times three. For here we got four times two. I have a okay, go. Um. Could we like maybe like to like can we add the bottles we're getting and the people? What do you mean? And then multiply. So then like like you add all this to get nine, and you add all this. No, 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 else. no, no. You can't. No, you can't. Do, you can't do that. Well, if if it was the case, follow, follow me on this. If they were all getting the same number of bottles, then you could get away with that. If they were all getting, say, three, then because they're all getting an equal amount, you could you could so, you could start getting. Well, actually, no, 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 no. You couldn't you couldn't even do that either because yeah, you you wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to get away with that either because that no, you would be able if they were all getting the same amount, you could add up all the people and then multiply by. The same number of bottles that they were all getting. That you could that you could do, but you, but the only that's the only time you could add up the the number of people if they're all receiving an equal rate. Because then, algebraically speaking, that would be the equivalent of saying you have 117x plus 7x plus 4x if that were the case. So see, these would have to all be equal for you to be able to add stuff up. If they're not, then no, you can't touch it. You have to keep everybody separate. Okay, so we do all those multiplications. Let's get out of your way here. Okay, so you got the twenty-one, you got the eight. Okay, then you've got the uh, then you got the hundred seventeen times four here, real quick. I'll put that over there so you can uh, do it in your traditional voidical fashion. Sorry, sorry, I had a little bugs bunny syndrome there. Voidical. Yeah, I knew I should have taken that left twin at Albuquerque. <laughs> So, okay, 468. Okay, so we got that. Okay, now there's another calculation we have, we have to do with, there's two other calculations that we have to do with these numbers now that we have them. Yeah. Okay, now, and which, and I'll tell you right now, it's not going to matter what order you do these calculations. Well, I'll say this. There um okay. While it doesn't matter what order you do the calculations, there's one way that might be shorter than the other one. It depends it depends on what on what you think because okay, well here. You've got like how many war balls the at the athletes get a day, how many of the coaches get a day, how many of the judges get a day. Okay. So what could what's what do we have What's one thing we could do with those numbers? Okay. And I'll tell you right now, that's probably the faster way to uh, to handle it. Okay. Let's get a grand total in here. I'm just going to move this over a little bit so you can uh, line up your place values there. Okay. So, all right. So we add them all up. Okay. So let's see. So we got 818. We got 7. Carry 1. 162. We got 9. And okay. So you got 497 bottles that you have they have given out in one day. Okay? But now something's got to happen with that 497. Okay? Because now that what what information in this question have we not touched yet? 
What have we not touched yet? The, th the three the three days. Okay, so what happens now? Okay, that 400, that 497 now needs to be multiplied by the three, the three days because all you've done is just calculate how many bottles need to be handed out in one single day. So you've got to get this covered. Let's get that multiplication and see where it goes. Okay, go for it. Here, 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 I'll, I'll get it for you so you don't have to reach. Okay. Okay, or not. Okay. So 1,491 total bottles of water need to be distributed over the course of the entire three-day uh, three track meet. All right? So we, so we know how many... So we know how many bottles we need there. Okay, but now the question remains. The question wants to know how many cases does he need to buy in order to cover that 1,491 Brianna's? So now, what do we know? What's the one fact we know about the cases? Okay, so what are we gonna have to do with the 1,491 and the 21 in order to be able to come up with the with the number of uh, cases that he'll need to buy. Okay, so we got to do a, fi a final division here, okay? All right, so 1,491 divided by 24. Let's see how it plays out, okay? You know, you can't do that. You can't do that. Okay, let's see. How many 24s can we get out of 149? What do you want to take a shot with? Let's take a shot and we'll find out where it goes. I still, need, I still need to take care of it. All right. Five. Okay. Well, all right. Let's see what happens with five. Five times. Five times. No, I'm asking you. Nine. <laughs> wait, wait. No, wait. Five times the four. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. 20. Okay. So we get two. Five times two plus two. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. No, 29. Okay. We have room for another one. We have room. We have new room for another, so we can go up to six. Okay, so that'll get add another twenty four to that. It'll give us one forty four, leaving us with five. Leaving us with five. Okay, we bring down the one. Okay, so how many twenty fours we get out of fifty one? One. Oh, we can definitely do better than one. No, I mean two. Two. Okay, because double twenty four, you get. 48. 48, leaving us with? No. Eh. 12. 51 minus 48. I don't know. Bad. <laughs> three. Okay. So you ended up with a remain with a remainder of three. Okay. So... We got to interpret that remainder properly now because he needs to buy enough cases to cover 1,491 bottles. So how about instead of buying cases, he just has no, 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 no. three extra bottles? I understand that, okay, but remember the question wants to know what is the fewest number of cases that Greg needs to buy to be able to provide for everybody. You had an extra case. Yes, this is another one of those cases that, like I said, you have to make sure that you cover, meaning you want to you want to buy enough to either hit fourteen ninety one exactly, or if you have to go if you have to buy an extra unit to go over that amount, then so be it. So in this in this case, yeah, if you only buy sixty two, you're going to be three bottles short of how many need to be provided. So you have to buy that one extra case, meaning that because because of this. Coach will get three bottles. No, no, no. There's gonna, there's gonna be, there's gonna be bottles left over in the last case, which okay. is fine. No, if you have like, you don't have three extra bottles, that means. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, that's that's totally okay. But the bottom line is, how many total cases do we have to end up buying as a result? Mm, Sixty-three cases. That's that's the final answer there. Okay, so that's what we end up with. Boom, right there. So. That's how that's how that all, all that plays out. So
so yeah, just yeah, just getting all of your information organized there. Uh, no, nothing too, nothing really too fancy about this and stuff like that. If um, he's sad because he doesn't get like, the bottles when he's going to. No, all right, but that's why we buy the 63rd case. Then he's covered. I know, but Greg forgot. Really? Come <laughs> on. <Greg> <laughs> The whole point is he calculated <laughs> all of this in advance so that he only has to go to the store one time. Okay? It's a it's a lot of I I know here we go, sixty-three cases we're talking here in this uh in the in, in in this uh you know problem of hoarding and everything and stuff like that. I know that's uh not a good idea, but at least it's sixty-three cases of, of water, a vital need for a sporting event, and not toilet paper. He's still so forgot. Okay. What? No, come on. Don't <laughs> don't sell Greg short like that. That's not fair. <laughs> come on. Be nice. No, I'm saying if we didn't interpret the remainder like that, he would have forgotten. Okay, that's that's a better way to say it. That's, what that's he a thought. better way to say it. Okay. If we didn't interpret the major like that, they thought <laughs> Oh, it'll be fine. No, <laughs> it won't. No. <laughs> and then he gets Never sell or buy yourself short. That's the bottom line, folks. Okay, but don't get crazy. All right. So, all right. So that's the nature of that question. All right. So, ho hopefully, uh, hopefully, you guys watching got the same answer and things like that. Uh, yeah, I always encourage you guys try these try these problems uh, yourself as we're doing them. Okay, because you know it's a good test for you as as well. Keep your own skills sharp. Okay? Water. This water is more important than toilet paper. Would you would you say that? That water is more important than toilet paper? Yeah, to yeah, to its own point. Because you can just use paper towels instead. Well, okay, alright. Well, it's the same thing. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Let's not get too crazy. Okay, alright. Okay. You could just use paper. Who knows? All right. Okay. All right. As we, all right. As we wait and we continue to uh, try to get some uh, suggestions and submissions and, and things like that. Hello, whoever just came in. All right. So, okay. I got. Um, okay. Here. Keep keep that on the side. Okay. So you you've got that to you know to all look at later, so you can get all that written down here, whatever. Okay. All right. My my discreet guys right Thanks. now. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Wait a second. Okay. Hi. My my discreet my discreet guys are get are uh, starting to get into um a couple of the the lessons that I, that I left for them and stuff like that. They're going to they're seeing some topics that are really getting into my most fun and favorite stuff or whatever. They're starting to get into some things relating to you know, probability and general statistics and, and stuff you're like that. I going to say probability. Yes. Said. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're looking into the probability portion of things uh, on on their stuff tomorrow, and I will get in and I will get into the probabilities of the, of uh, things as well. We'll even we'll even get a little uh, gaming action going on and stuff like that. I'll I'll show you when we get there. But in the meantime, I want to first be able to acknowledge for different situations. I want to be able to acknowledge in circumstances of knowing exactly how many different situations that could possibly happen in, you know, in any particular event or group of events happening at once here. So like, so for, so for example, okay, we got, we have a standard die, our huge giant die here. Okay. <laughs> we got, we got these a while, a while back uh, when five below was still, uh, was still selling them and stuff like that or whatever. I don't know what, well, no, well, no, the last, the last several times that, that we went to, uh, to five below af after we got these, um, I couldn't, I couldn't find them. The, the, the bins weren't there anymore. I wasn't seeing them. And I even checked online and stuff like that. They, and I didn't see them selling them there either and stuff like that which kind of, kind of a shame because i mean you know it's it's fun having uh, you know giant you know dice like this or whatever it's it's something a little bit different you know to have or whatever just to you know have fun 
enjoy with or whatever. Just as long as you, just as just as enough. just as long as you're not beanie each other with them. Okay, don't do that. All right, <laughs> no no violence when uh, when uh, no violence when playing uh, giant board games, please or whatever. Okay. Mine. <laughs> All right, we'll hear one. Okay, hold that one second because Yay. I'm gonna also. Well, well, wait, hang on. I'm gonna get a, f a few of the, a few of my giant card sharks cards here because I want to use that. Well, actually, here. Wasn't uh, there also a silver and gold one? Uh, oh uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, gold. but Scott has those right now, and it's gonna be a while, obviously, before I get them back because of the nature of, uh, you know, with. Uh, Social distancing and stuff, or whatever. We're not going to be able to uh, uh, oh. see, see those for a little bit. Uh, you know, just uh, giant dice. Yeah, because he's going to have to deliver those. He's going to have to bring those back to me fa uh, face to face or whatever. So with co with all the social distancing, that's not uh, uh, feasible to do here or whatever. But be but that be how that come as he it can't may. Just mail them. These things are giant. He's gonna spend. He's gonna end up spending like twenty bucks or whatever, probably to to try to get bring those uh, bring those over to me or whatever the case is. You know, what I'm saying it's it's not worth it. Just it's it's gonna be easier. But they're light. But it's yeah, but it's not that. It's the bulk of the package. That that would be the problem. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why you don't want to do it. Okay. I mean, granted, if anybody out there has got a better suggestion as to what my uh, friend send can do to, e to email, he's got to he's got to send he's got to send me he's got to send me my friend my friend has two pairs of of these dice one one silver pair and one gold pair he's got of mine he also has my uh, my game show buzzers my my uh, my my buzz buzzers uh, from uh, the that game that was that way back on PlayStation Two or whatever, he's got to send those back to me too, or whatever. If anybody can figure out a more affordable way uh, to, to send, send them, them in different boxes, no, that would be even worse because huh? because no, the, the the packages are um the the the, the small several small packages are going to cost more than one big package. That's just that that's just the way the system works. It's oh. I know it's. It's ugly. I it's, don't know uh, mail. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Give give time down the road. You will and stuff like that. Okay, but getting back to my <laughs> point. Getting back to my point there. All right. So, so here. So here's the here's the kind of thing there. All right. So let's let's suppose to try to you know to try to establish you know several things. Let's suppose that okay, you've you've got you've got the giant die there. Okay, now just like any other die that you've ever rolled in your life, it's got how many sides on it? Six. It's got six. It's got six I'm sides. I'm trying to do that thing where you go, but it's not working. It, yeah, it's yeah, with with a die that big, it doesn't it doesn't. Work. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what did it land on? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> what did it land on? I have no idea. I just instinctively picked picked it up there. Dad! Yeah. It's a five. Sure. Yay. Why not? Okay. So five. all right. But anyway, but you've established that you've established that the that the die hat you know, has okay. So you started by ro rolling one die, okay? And you've established there's ways to there there are six ways for the die to come up. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, put that down, put it down. <laughs> Because now you're missing the point of what I want you to do next. Okay. Take a I want. I want you to do. Okay. I'm not. I'm not doing any. I'm not doing any magic tricks here. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I am. I am no. Uh, I am no David Blaine or David Copperfield or any of the or Penn and Teller or any of those any guys David. or whatever. I am not trying to fool you. Okay. All I simply want you to do is pick a card. Any card. Now before you pick before you pick a card real fast. Uh, uh, now before you draw that card, just real quick, how many cards do I have available here to choose from? Ten. Okay, ten. Five. All right. Now now just for fun, pick your card. And you have established that you have that you you can you can turn the card over. It's okay. Three. Okay. So you have drawn le tre. Okay, so that's that's the nature there. Okay. All right, so you draw, so you draw one, you draw one card. Okay, so 
And like I said, there were 10 cards available to pick from. Now, here is my question to you. My question to you is, all right, how many, how many different possibilities do you end up with in terms of rolling one die, of rolling the die one time, the standard die, and drawing one, one of those 10 cards? Hmm? 60. How'd you get it? I'm okay. Okay. And that is exactly what it is that, that you have that you have to do. Yay. Okay. There are 60 possible outcomes for this for this thing. Have you have you done questions like this before? I don't think so. Okay, well, it was good that good that you caught that that's how I, it works. I, we might have. Okay. I, I don't know. Well, okay, well, but yeah. but that's but that's exactly the na the nature of, of how this works. This is this is an ex this is an example of what is known in, in general within statistics as counting. The, the counting principle. What it essentially says is that when you have a series of events that are being performed, okay, when you have a series of events that are being performed, if you know how many, how many ways each individual event can be done, you take those, those individual number of possibilities multiply them together and that tells you how many total outcomes there are for the entire series for the way that it plays out. I have one question. Go ahead. It, it, it will probably be the big die, but which do you think weighs like more? A big die or this big die or this or a little die? Or a normal little die? Well I would definitely imagine that the the big die or whatever. But it's because, lighter. Yeah yeah but you gotta understand and it's made of like yeah, but you have to. I know. Oh. I know that. I know that foam is bigger than, you know, like I said, than than marble or whatever or whatever, pla uh, plastic or whatever the case is that uh, regular you know dice are made out. But you're but you still got to consider the volume. Oh, yeah, the it's bigger. You got to consider the the volume and the bulk and the material and stuff like that. Oh. So that's the nature there. Okay, but ah. that's the idea there. Okay, so all right. So you see how so you see how that works. Okay. So same, Again. so same. Well, wait here. Same idea. Hang, well, hold on. I'm gonna get back to those and the and the cards and stuff in in just oh. a second and things like that. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I hit you with the nose. <laughs> oh my god! I hit you with the nose. Well, well, for, well, for how you're trying to control it or whatever, okay. It's because like I'm trying to roll it in like the yeah. classic way where you go. Yeah. <laughs> Before. And it's hard to like. Eh. Before any more, before any more violence, uh, you know, befalls e eh. you know, either of us. More specifically, me. <laughs> okay. Why'd you take all the markers? Well, wait a minute. You'll see. I've got because I want to just. I want to demonstrate another example with within the counting principle, okay? Because we have a lot of we have a lot of different uh, markers here and, and stuff like that, or whatever. Are we gonna okay. Swatch but listen to the question. All right. So, so the so the scenario I want to put forth then for the for the next for the next example, staying in this counting principle is okay. If you choose one thin marker, which I have how many available to pick from? Four. Okay. Okay, so you take so you take one of so you take one of them. Okay, so so thin thin marker. Okay, like you said, there are four. Okay, now same now same principle. Okay, you have okay, you have a double sided marker to pick from. Okay, but there are how many to pick from? Two. Okay. Okay. A double-sided marker. Make a note. There were two, there were two of those. Okay, and, and there's also green. And the thick and the thick markers. Da, 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 da. There's so many. Yes. Well, we have we got a lot of uh, color choices here based on what's why, there. Why did you pick oh, up? Well, wait, 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 wait. Because I've already got. No, wait, wait. I've already got. I'm just going ah. by different colors here. All right. So. Take a look at what we got here. How many, how many of the thick, how many of the thick ones am I holding here? Eight. Uh, wait. Oh, nine. There's nine of them there. Yeah, the, yeah. The pink ones decided to try to you know play hide and seek, but it did not win. So okay, so you've got the, so therefore, eh, getting, I choose purple. Getting those. Okay. 
So the thick markers, there's nine. So what? So once again, taking one mark, taking one marker of each type. Okay. So how many sets of three marker? How many sets of three markers can you take? Once again, just like the last one, we multiply those together. So four times. So four. Marker. So four times two times nine. Go. What you get? Eight. Eight there, mm -hmm. and then eight times nine. Seventy-one. Wait. Yeah, seventy-two. Thank you. <laughs> it's because I was thinking of eighty-one. Yeah, it's nine times nine. But it was nine times nine, so I know it's seventy-one. Okay, so that's the way that that plays out. Okay, now now I'm now I'm gonna switch things up uh, for you a little bit. All right, so here, here's what I want you to see next now. All right, let's suppose, let's suppose now that you were do you were doing a situation where you were performing the same where you performed the same event several times in a row. Okay, now depending on how that event is depending depending on how that event is performed yeah. and what is required of it, you're gonna you're gonna see that the calculations are gonna change just a little bit. As as we go from uh, case to case, and there are going to in some in some of these circumstances, there are going to be some formulas that we can put together that will summarize exactly how how everything gets organized. Like just to, just to start with it with a simple example, and this one does not require any, any formula. Okay, going going back to the die. If you were if you were to roll this dot, we, now we rolled it just one time before. If you were to roll it, say one, two. Three times, okay. <laughs> Can we ask for one toilet? Paper? Close the door. <laughs> Were we talking about toilet paper like ten minutes ago? Yes, we were. <laughs> <sighs> even when you, even when you don't want some gag some gags to die, some just refuse to. They they'll they'll hit you from any angle. Okay. So <laughs> not like that. Stop. Okay. So we roll so we rolled the die three times. Okay. Now each time each time we rolled the die, okay, did any was there any change to how many uh how many no. numbers were possible? No. Okay, so yeah, so so you rolled so you rolled three times. So that means that we had six for the first roll, six for the second roll, six for the third roll. So that it that ends up being how many in treating each roll as its own thing. How many you know, how many uh, rolls you know, how many three you know, three number groups you could possibly come up with when when you do the roll here. Now you already yeah you already know two sixes is thirty six. So doing thirty six times six, you're gonna see yeah there's a lot of possibilities. It comes out to So you get 216 sets. Yes. Okay. So when an action is when when action is repeated and all right, when action is repeated in those circumstances and the number of outcomes is the same each individual time, then okay, fine, you got no problems and worries. But let's suppose that let's suppose that each time you repeated an event, let's say now that the next time that you do an event, let's say that the thing you chose the first time isn't available anymore. The, to give you an idea of what I mean, let's How? go. Well, okay. Well, here, hang on a sec. Let's go back to the cards. Let's go back to the cards for one second. All right. Bef all right. Earlier, we did. Okay. I had the I had the ten cards available. Like when, wait. Like um. Like when one night you were planning to buy hand sanitizer and then the next morning when you were going to buy it, there was no more? Uh, kind, I mean, yeah, va vaguely, but it's, no, it's not like, it's not kind of thing like that. The, the general idea of what I'm talking about is like I said, you're going through, a, you're, you're taking part in a scenario here where, where the items that you're choosing from are are different okay it's not it's not just grab you know, grabbing from the same from the of 
the same identical objects every single time. I know where you're going with it, but yeah, no, that's that's not what I'm what I'm going after. To wait, okay, wait, 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 hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'll show you exactly what. No, no, wait, no, no, no. One night on Amazon and the next. No, 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 no. It's not that. When you were planning to buy. Just, stop. Hold. Follow what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Don't let your mind run away from me. Yeah, wait, just did you? Saying what? Okay, all right. So let's go back to the cards that we had uh, a few minutes ago. Okay, so I so I've re, I've reshuffled the you know the ten cards. So once again, I if I ask you to take a card, okay, you know right at the start there's how many cards available to select from. Ten. Okay, all right. So you take that card. All right. So you took that. Yay! I chose number five and it was a five. My favorite number. Oh, I see. What? Okay. All right, so so we know that there's ten cards to start. Okay, now there's ten cards to choose from. So you chose what? So you've chosen one card there and stuff like that. Now let's suppose that now I ask you to let's suppose I ask you to draw again. Ooh. All right, now the next time you draw, how many cards do you have available to pick from? None. Okay. Because you notice that you did not replace the one that the the one that you drew the first time and stuff like that. Okay. All right. And if I were to ask you to draw, yeah. If I were to ask you to draw one more time, now how many is there to pick from? Eight. There's now eight to pick from there. Okay. So you notice that you notice that each time that you draw, each time that you draw from the deck here we'll, we'll put them in the order that you, ch that you chose them and we'll talk about order in a little bit too what grab, grab that all right we'll talk about order in a little bit too because that that's going to play a role in our discussion as well so so choose so choose so choose three but, no, no, stop no 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 enough enough no that's not what this is okay okay so so the whole so the whole idea is here is that you've drawn three cards without replacement. Again, by without replacement, what I mean by that is that once well, once a card is drawn, it does not get put back in the deck, and you just draw from whatever is remaining. So at, as you established in ter in terms of drawing the cards, okay, you oh, so you had like you that. had ten cards to pick from the first time times how many cards did you have to pick from the second time? Nine. Okay, you had. Now I'm just gonna do my my version of multiplication also, sign, like and then and the third time. It's like you and three three friends had like a bunch of candy, and there was like ten pieces of candy, and then one friend picks their favorite candy, and then the next friend picks their favorite candy, and you have to choose from what is left. Yeah. Okay. But um. Yeah. But just just kind of understanding then in in that vein that um. Okay, usually, I mean, yeah, that's a little closer to what we're talking about. The thing you just want to make sure you recognize in this type of problem, Brianna, is that um, when you're when we're performing these events, they're they're done on the assumption that one person is performing all parts of task. You know, what I mean, it's not split among several people. I get what you're saying. Like you pick one, then your friend picks one, then your friend picks one, stuff like that. Although, although, although I will say, actually, there, there is a way we could tie that into it because there is one version of the calculation where that will, that will be important. As a matter of fact, between that and this, there will be a way we could differentiate the exact calculation that you're going to be doing. Now you have 10 pieces of candy there. Yeah. All right. One person and, let, and let's one, and, and and let's suppose and let's okay. Yeah. And let's suppose that you had ten friends to split those candies amongst between. And then okay. So okay. Swarm. All right. Okay. Well, all right. Well, first, I'm running all right. out of colors. All right. Hold on. Okay. All right. Well, colors aside, first things oh, first. Okay. First things first. And then another friend. Okay. Oh. Right, okay. And okay. Then get, and then like. And uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. Once we did this thing in um. Good. In Girl Scouts. Why don't you why don't you slide forward so they could so they could see you talking about it? So like once we did this thing in Girl Scouts where like we had these like um stock. We had these stock. 
and they're like Christmassy themed stuff. And there's like a bunch of goodies in there. Some socks were in bags. Here, wait, can I go get what what I ended up with? Uh sure. Okay. <laughs> and like and something funny is that I think like wait, I think I went second. So then like my stuff my sock ended up getting stolen from me. How? No, it's because how it works is you could either choose to... Oh, you played the white elephant game. You, yeah, you ever, either... Everybody picked, and then the next, per the next person could either take a new one for themselves or they could, they could rip off a friend. Yeah, because, like, they play... first we had to, like, show it, and then, like, we put it all back. And then, and then, um, my... I really want to keep mine because there are scrunchies in mine. And I wanted scrunchies. And then, like, a friend took mine, so that means I got to pick. And then I, and the bag that I ended up with, it only gotten stolen once. And it could, and a bag or sock can only be stolen twice. So I took it. And everyone was like, no, 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 um, uh. And everyone was, like, trying to bargain with me. And the troop leaders were like, like, no bargaining. And then I ended up taking it. That de that defeats the whole purpose of the white elephant game. If you if you're gonna do that, if it if it's if it's no complaining, then you know th yeah. then it's like if somebody takes it, yeah, you take it. You don't you don't go trading back later and stuff. Yeah, like but that. like what, <laughs> there was it, there was slime in it, and then I ended up trading the slime for the scrunchies because you know how we are with slime. Oh uh, yes. Okay, here I'll go. <laughs> you, have, show you have no idea how many. Uh, Wait. How many disasters, how many things have gotten ruined in this house because of slime and uh, things like that? So, okay. Well, all right. Well, all right. How, all right. Go real quick. Would you, whatever, from. whatever you ends up, go. Oh, that, oh, that's why you've got the Reese's in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Was, okay. All right. It was anyway. Back in December, we did this, but who cares? So, wait, what are you go? Where are you going to get the Reese's? Oh, the bag. Oh, okay. I got, I got confused. It's like they. I mean, I hope you guys know what Reese's peanut butter cups look like. I'm like, why is she going to get candy? What's what's special about showing off that? I, I got That's lost that. there. Oh, okay. So that so there's the bag you ended up with, so and, like, and what there was... are like narwhal stickers in here. I put one on my combo. There is this. God, really? Yes. It's because here's the thing. We all like put our own stuff in it and that's what that person chose uh this i never understood those gummy Airhead. those gummy treats or whatever the case is the gummy burgers the gummy this. pizzas and stuff like that. why did you not say you had those in the in the first place or whatever Gr granted wait what kind of these i mean i'm big i'm big i'm big on jelly There's like two airheads wait, wait. I'm big on Jelly Belly and stuff like that. Wait, candy cones? I've never seen this kind before. There's like this. I know. I know. There's um. I know that there's uh. What do you call it? There, there are these nice socks. Oh dear. I know. As far as these go, I know. I know that uh. There's there cold, these there's cold salt creamery that I flavors. Ate them. But, but yet you saved the wrapper. No, it's because I dumped them out, and then I didn't just want to throw it on the floor, so I put it back in the bag. There was this Laffy Taffy. Um, I'm going to want in on that in a few minutes. Then but this. And there was, like, Fun Dip. It's probably a Blow Pop or whatever. There's more, more, more of this. Okay, all right. So, all right, well, all right. Play of candy. We can definitely And then, oh, there's that. also a Santa Squishy in there. Okay, yeah, definitely on that. Okay, but here, I'm opening this because I can tell you. There's a Santa Squishy yeah. ball in there, too. Here, I, I can go get it. But, but, wait, 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 wait. Come back. We got to get back to the math here. We're, we're losing sight of, what, of why we were having this discussion. So, anyway, the point is. So come back to the math, folks. <laughs> if if you if you forgot why we were here in the first place, anyway. So so the key here is that with with cho with choosing with the with the candies and and stuff like that or whatever. All right. So so it's fine. Don't worry about. It. All right. So but coming coming back on topic here. All right. So. Can I in the one I originally picked, there's a bunch of lip balm, and one was this giant nerd's lip balm. 
And then. No, thank you. Here. What? Said no. Not for you. One for me. No, thank you. Oh, all right. Um, all right. So here's the start. All right. Well, let's say. Let's say three cards are being chosen, and even in this, let's say that there's just three friends picking from from the candidates, whatever case is. And somebody's got to go first, second, and third. So. Here's Joey. Regardless of which. And I'm watching this whole Sonic movie. Epic. It's on YouTube. What? Yeah. So I'm going to record the whole movie. Isn't that illegal? You can go check it out right Some now. Know how. Huh? Hey, he doesn't know how. Anyway. What? You just, just search Sonic the Hedgehog full movie. All right, Joey. Both. All right, go, go. <laughs> Come out. I'm having this blow up. Anyway. Cherry first, ice okay. blow first, All right, first, thing, first things first. Okay, let's do the multiplication of these. Okay, nine times eight we get. Nine times eight. Seventy-two. All right, times the ten. You just had a zero to it. What's it give you? 720. 720. Okay, mm -hmm. now, here's the thing. Here's, here, blow pop. Now, here's the important part of this, because now there's going to be some times where that multiplication is going to be the ends, of, uh, the ends of how everything works out with these. But sometimes it's not. The question you now have to ask yourself in – in this calculation to determine if you have to go further or not is you got you got that there there were 720 you know ways that choosing three out of ten could work but the question now that you have to ask yourself is does order matter in other words does it make a difference no when you pick you pick the items so matter of fact the two scenarios that we've got in front of us here, and I thank you for this, huh? because in one of these situations, the order that the three items are picked did matter. In the other one, it didn't. Which is which? Mm. Bear with me if I slow down in my speech a little bit. Remember, I'm, I'm in the middle of mid-chewing taffy here. Yeah, he really likes his taffy. Oh, and there's also one of these um, Warheads Squirty. Okay, well, 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 all right, well, all right, well. It's like one of those okay. double squirts. Right, save that for later. The candy doesn't matter, but this does? Well, well, let's see. So so here's the thing. Before you chose you chose three cards out of, out of the ten in the in the set now. Okay. Now, this was the order that you that you picked the these three cards mm -hmm. or whatever. You took you chose the five first, then the ace, then the nine. But here, here's the thing. Would it have made any difference if if you chose them in this order versus, let's say, if you drew the nine first, then the five, then the ace? Would that make any difference? No. No, it wouldn't because you would still have the same the same three cards. Oh, but if it this was done in a different order, that means they could have picked different candies. Exactly, yes. So this one, the order the order the candies were chosen did matter because each person ends up with, with, their, with their own candy. And we're assuming that all 10 of these candies are different, okay, in, the, in this discussion. All right, so based on those two circumstances, all right, so we, so we, got, we got that. So so same idea here. I'm just going to put the scenario here. So three, 10 candies, each, each takes one. Now, both of these revolve around starting with this because it starts with the, in the, in the first selection. Sadly, they want to get an even amount of candy. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just focus on the one. That's all that matters here okay. right now. Okay. The key here is that in these circumstances, all right, it, it starts with the when the first selection is made, there are 10 items to select from. Then the second time there are nine left, the third time there are eight left. So we get to that 720. But here then is what happens. 
in this situation with the candies, since all 10 candies are different and each person is choosing is choosing their own uh, their own candy, they're taking one of each. Yeah. The order that the candies are chosen do, you know, does matter. Like as, a, as a result, as a result, well, no, wait, wait, but, there, but there's no like taking from the other person. We're just, forget that. It's just one person takes candy. That's it. Okay. Oh, because so, like, there's a chance that like, so in this, so in this that one, green person took the candy that red person wanted. Okay. But ex well, yeah. So, so in this situation, the order mat the order matters because of that. This is an example of a calculation known as a permutation. Okay. A uh, perma what? Permutation. Okay. This determ a permutation determines the total number of orders that an event performed multiple times without replacement can take place. There's a notation for this. The notation reads like this. Okay. It reads as NPR. All right. The N stands for the no the number of items that you have. R stands for the number of items that you're taking, okay? And the calculation for this is exactly what we did up here. It's the number of items you start with times one less than that, okay? One, one less, et cetera, et cetera, for, for R number of items. Exactly, that okay. means one person would get an extra. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You're, okay, you're thinking too far. Okay, do no, it. All the all the situation says that each friend takes one candy. That's it. There's no second pick. There's no third pick. Oh, just one candy, and that's it. And all then, right. Um, so so as a result, and then the parents the, take the rest. No, sure, whatever. Why not? <laughs> they keep it for another time. All right. Yeah. So the calcul in this case, the calculation that we did here just now, we calculated ten. We calculated permutation of ten take three. And that 10 take three is exactly what we what we just did. The 10 times nine times eight, there's three numbers here to match this. And that gives you that there's 720 orders in which the three items can be taken out of the 10. Now, that's what happened in the candy situation. Now in the card situation where you determine the order does not matter, okay? Order did not matter on this one. As long as you pick the three cards, the, the three cards are what they are, no matter whether you chose them this way, whether you chose them that way, whether you chose them that way, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? That is an example of what is known as, in this case, a combination. Now, what you're going to see with a combination, Brianna, is, okay, now, first of all, that's going to be NCR instead of NPR. Now, what you're going to see is that the 720 that we got, we still need that number because the calculation is still going to start with that, 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 and stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And you're still going to write as many numbers as R tells you to, okay? But on the bottom, you're also going, you're also going to do the same calculations for starting from r taking r going minus one minus one again and stuff like that again and do and doing it for for r number of items and what you'll see is that in this case what ends up happening is it'll essentially keep going until r equals one you can't go past that because then if it gets to zero it cancels the whole denominator out can never have that in a fraction. You can never have zero at the bottom. So here's what this calculation ends, ends up looking like for 10C3. Okay, you still have the 109A at the top that we got, which we know is 720. Okay, but now on the bottom, do the same, okay. do the same countdown, do the same countdown starting from three. Two, one. Three times two times one. Six. And that gives you six. What that six essentially means, Brianna, is that you, you remember earlier in the week when I was when I gave when I gave you a question that or I think we did this last week where remember I had a group of three or four letters on the board and I'd asked you to arrange them in as many different ways as possible, as many different orders as you could. Yeah. Okay. 
which the same kind of thing you could do here. You have nine five ace. You have nine ace five. You have ace nine five, ace five nine, five ace nine, five nine ace. Six different ways that these three cards could be arranged. That's what that six represents. It's essentially the factorials that we talked about last week. Those screaming numbers. <laughs> Got you tonight. <laughs> you, you forgot about that exclamation point at the end of the number already. <laughs> I got her. I got her back, folks, finally. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, no. I keep bumping the table. Just relax. It's okay. So anyway. So here. All right. So here's what happens now. So what essentially. So what's what's going to happen now is. That's se those 720 permutations. Though those are all the orders in which the items can be chosen. But if you don't want order to matter, you have to represent that th those 720 can be split into six different orders a piece. So if you divide those six orders a piece, you'll see how many actual groups there are of of uh, three items that you can take out of the set of 10. So real quick, 720 divided by six, get that. And you'll see exactly how many, how many combinations or groups that there actually are. As she checks, you guys check out there too. Only anything, most of you have already got the answer if you're, if you're trying this along with us. You got 120 combinations or groups. That's the way that plays out. Okay, so that's always going to be a critical thing when you when you look at every you know, every circumstance or whatever. You have to see does the order you pick the uh, you know pick those uh, yeah. items in that repeated set does it matter or not? That will tell you the difference between whether you're doing a permutation calculation or a combination one. But even in, regardless of which type of case, when you run into one of those, the same thing of how you come up with the number of possibilities in each attempt of the event is still the same. It still goes back to the counting principle of knowing how many possibilities do you have in your first trial, in your second trial, your third trial, and however many trials that you have to do. That's the way it all plays out there. Okay. As a matter of fact, here, um, speaking of the combinations. There's one last little thing. I, there's one last little thing I want to I want to show you, and th this is this is something fun that I always like to I always like to vi visualize uh, combinations with. And you can only do this with combinations, not permutations. You'll see why in a minute. And I want to show you, you know, this to you guys too. It's it's actually it's actually kind of fun stuff like that. I'm actually going to devote um, I'm going to devote a video uh, very soon uh, to this. Now that I think about about this. Uh, about this topic, so I thank you for uh, uh, jogging this you know, in my head. I know you didn't actually do anything, but just our conversation with this now uh, uh, did this for me or whatever. Um, you know, uh, you know, Cubert. Yeah. Here, so for those that don't know Cubert, here, show the world what he looks like. Here, wait, wait, wait. let me give you, wait, wait, let me clear some space for you. Okay. Sorry, sorry, YouTube ice cream heads. <laughs> don't worry, he's still on the ice cream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, just to just to refresh the world, uh, anybody that uh, was was not a, a, a fan of of um, 80s arcade games or whatever back in the day, or anybody that, that uh, saw neither of the uh, Wreck It Ralph movies uh, that uh, Disney did over the last uh, several years or whatever, which by the way. Uh, Honest trivia for myself: the original Wreck It Ralph back in God, how how long was the first Wreck It Ralph? What was it 2012? I think it was. Was that when the first one came out? 2012. All I remember is like I was young. Yeah, I, th I think you were. Th yeah, you were three when it first came out. Yeah, so it would have been it would have been 2012. So yeah, no, I'll be honest with you. For uh, first movie in my entire life I ever saw in the theaters twice. And I was totally glad to have uh, that have been the case there. Well, I remember like whenever we watch like the like the DVD, I always get scared for no reason. Why? At the no, like near the end. At like the when you turn. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to spoil. The the movie's eight years, almost eight oh, years old now. Or like he I think turns if, into if, the giant bug. 
Oh, oh, uh, oh, when King Kanzi becomes the cyborg. Yeah. When yeah, you know, when he gets uh, when he gets uh, eaten. E eaten by them wherever he cases, it it's odd in its own right. Why are you making Pac Man? <laughs> no, I can't. I forget what it, it looks like. <laughs> there we go. It's a cyborg. No. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, all right, but but here, but here's my point. Okay, and like I said, I'll delve like, in. I always I'll get delve scared into the, at it. I'm not scared at it now. It's like, it's a giant, huge thing. No, I I understand there. Okay, so, but, a giant, angry, evil bug. Yes. Okay. We got. Okay, but coming back to the yeah, point. That's about, Q but coming back to the point about about this guy, Cubert, or whatever the case is. All right. So that that's a a sort of vague interpretation of what Cubert looks like, or whatever. Um, but ba but basically, uh, like like I said, he cameoed in, in the Wreck-It Ralph films over. But he had his own arcade game back in the eighties. Still one of my favorite arcade games, uh, you know, to this day. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. Explain this as a little bit of a preview. This, this is sort of a preview for what I'll do in uh, in a formal video la uh, later on and stuff like that, just uh, to explain it. But in the game itself, what Kubert had to what had to do was he needed there were snakes. Well, I I understand there was there was coil the snake. I understand that, but essentially, they had a name? yeah. Yeah, the snake was named Coily, and then there were those two other odd-looking purple monsters. Uh, yeah, there was like a uh, purple snake. Well, yeah, th yeah, that was Coily. Kind of, sort of. Okay, but but here, but here was. I think he had a fang. Uh, yeah, he had. Yeah, he had fangs. Of course, he had fangs. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and it was like that, and like, and in the um second one, he like there was this bit where Ralph said, and I thought Cubert's game was weird. I don't know why. But... No, it was it was in the eBay thing where like Penelope says, "I think you just shout out the biggest number and then you win this stuff." Which no, that is not how eBay works. And then he well, said, they, huh, well, I guess, well, they, huh, well, and I thought Hubert's game was weird. <laughs> well, who knows? Well, they had no idea what eBay was at the time, so you can't really blame them. Yes. How big is this tower? The tower is seven layers big. So. And we're only on five. Uh, I'm drawing layer six right one, now. Two, three, I'm on layer five, six. Five, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh. Okay, yep. Oh no! I keep shaking it. I keep shaking the table and I keep going shaking. Please, I I knew coming into this that it was never gonna stay totally uh totally intact or whatever cases. So I'm not worried about it. But okay, but that's but that's essentially what the Cubert pyramid look you know looks like. The idea would be that Cubert would start at the top of the pyramid and while avoiding Coil the Snake and his and his other uh you know purple monster friends Ugg and Wrong Way. Um they had names too. Yes they had they had names too and stuff like that. But the idea was he would he would bounce all around the pyramid all around the pyramid, going from top to top, you know, cube, you know cube to cube, yellow. and the or whatever the objective color was for uh, for that level, because every pyramid was a different set of colors and things like that. There was all there would always be a target color. The way he jumps on it, it would turn the cube to that color. In some later levels, you would you would have to you would have to bounce on the cube twice to turn it to a target color. There would be an intermediate color that Wait, would have to hit. Made... In some cases, the colors would flip back and forth and cycle around, stuff like that. It's all, everything gets... Wait, couldn't they no, no, no. turn it back? Uh, there, were some, there were some green, there were some green spiky hair looking dudes, uh, Slick and Sam, that could change, that could revert the colors. They oh. they could do it. Okay, but not, not the purple monsters. Anyway. But but that was but that was the general object. But what you're gonna see ultimately when I do this in, in a video, folks, is that um, th this pi this pyramid, the the Cuber pyramid, the pre the premise of it, it no 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 no, it was no no no. That's not the way they looked. No, they they kind of looked like a um, 
Can I, no, Taking art, artistic liberty. No, no, no. It's kind of like uh, the way Slick and Sam used to look. It's like take a teardrop and like spike it like this. That that was, yeah, you know, that was them. Okay. Face. Yeah, you had. Yeah, you had. Yeah, you had you had Slick, which had the glasses, and then Sam, which did who didn't have the glasses. But that's kind of more what they looked like. Anyway, but we're losing point here. The the idea is for everything we're and talking no has for everything we were talking about with combinations. Mm -hmm. The basic premise is that usually is like, like Coily the Snake and would would do this in the game, and there where before Coily actually appears on the board. He start. He starts as a giant purple ball. He drops initially on one of these two cubes, and he he falls or whatever down ultimately to the bottom. Where after the purple ball rests at the bottom of the pyramid for a couple of seconds, then he springs out and starts chasing Cubert all around the board. There's also a series of red balls which don't transform into anything, but those red balls do the exact same thing. They bounce on one of these cubes and they just keep randomly dropping down the pyramid um, until they ultimately fall off the bottom and things like that. The thing is, is that there are a lot of different pathways as to how, as to how the red and purple balls can fall down the pyramid and stuff like that. And the thing is that by the time it gets to the bottom layer level, or well, the whole idea is that there are certain there are certain cubes on the pyramid that it, that the red and purple balls will land on more often than they will others. It turns out that though that the frequencies at which they they would bounce on them, assuming that the drop was ran was uh, completely random, it turns out that when we were doing the combination calculations. You could actually summarize a whole bunch of combination formulas using those those pyramid frequencies and stuff like that. No. You actually can. It's an extension of what is known as Pascal's triangle, which actually shows the calculations for all of those all of those things. Okay. But wait, but we're not gonna but wait, but we're not gonna break the numbers down right now. What are you doing? The Pascal electric triangle. Sure, why not? <laughs> he, a, a, a famous scientist, for, a famous mathematician from centuries past make, makes a cameo as a smiley in our video. Sure, why not? But it's Pascal. Sure, why not? <laughs> so, all right. But in a future video, I'm going to... I'm going to bring this in, into the forefront a little bit more. So we'll talk, we'll talk about it more then some of, some of you, you know, hopefully some of you watching, uh, you know, of higher level have already seen Pascal's triangle and know exactly how, how, it, uh, works however. But if you haven't, you'll get an education in it when, uh, we present this fail. And, and I always like bringing it back to Cuba, you know, because, because of the nature, just that of, the, of the way it like drops. Cuber? I'm like, Will we be able to play Cuber, or will we have to go to like an arcade? We pro we, pro we probably have to get an emulator. We probably have to get an arcade emulator online to be able What's to make that work. Emulator? Yeah, I mean, so, some people some people have like the the, the video game uh, you the know ro ro ROMs of no no like the actual uh, uh, programs that that are contained within the arcade machine cabinets that yeah, that run and uh, program the game and stuff like that and make, and make it work. And so people have translated them to be able to, to download those games, you know, you know, online on, on the down low and, you know, you mean on the down and through, and through the use of devices called emulators, they, they process the ROMs. The down low? And, well, I don't know how, strictly legal it is to uh to do emulators and stuff like that but but people have been doing them for years and stuff like that it's it or we could yeah, get one of those mini arcade machines and and though and pl i'm sure there's plenty of you out there that have that have emulators too on your uh your your computers for a lot of old uh old devices and stuff like that be arcade games pc games commodore 64 games if some of you are that old too going back to the 80s like myself the original Agent, original whatever. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all, that, all those Agent, kind of things. Whatever game? Agent USA, yes. Yes. 
Yeah, I'll have to get a Commodore 64 emulator so you, you could play that. That was that was another fun one too. But anyway, you, but said, stay like, tuned down the road. Like, You'll see a future video house. where. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we got it. We got it. But don't you have the game on it? Yes, we do. Okay. How, how we'll, we we'll can't just bring it here. We'll dig it up. We'll dig it up and figure out a way to set it up and use it sometime or, soon. Okay. You know right. how we have this mini Fix It Felix Junior game where you can actually play the game? Uh huh. Maybe we could get one of those, except this Cubert. I don't think they made one for Cubert. Hmm. Cubert deserves one. Well, we'll find we'll find out. If I'm wrong, you guys tell me out there. All right, but yeah. here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's why don't we why don't we close things out here and we'll do we'll do some research and stuff for it. Well here, you go get the rest of your of your math work and your other homework done here. Okay, so you do that. I'll go research this, okay? And why not? You guys go research it too. And but before you leave, uh make sure you hit that uh, hit that like button to you know, let us know you enjoyed what we did here today. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future videos, yeah. including the uh, the one about this that that I've now previewed. Uh, you know, I just to have now that just to have some more fun next with it. Week, our school also got closed. Yeah, our we're yeah we're close. Yeah, we're at least here in Jersey. We're everybody's closed until further notice. And I know you're going on Google Classroom starting next week or whatever. And, and so it, is Joey, which yes. like it's a surprise because like. Well, every, everybody's got to have one. Everybody's got to have a Google Classroom account. So, look, every, everybody in, in our school system is already on Google Classroom. Oh, so it's that's how, like, that's, how we're, that's how we're delivering our work. I remember I didn't get, like, a school Gmail until, like, third grade. Well, We didn't get it until third grade. Yeah, well, with that's... Now with this, like, crazy pandemic. Well, like, yeah, every, yeah, everybody, yeah, we don't have a choice. So that's how it's going to play. I personally... Like it always starts with, like, the... After your last name, it starts with the first three letters. And we always call Joey Joey, but his full name is Joseph, so they ended up doing J O S. Which I think it should be J O E since most people call him Joey. Yeah, but you have to remember you have to go by full formal name as it's on the birth certificate. Nickname nicknames don't count. On school records, it's gotta be the the official name. Okay. So that's the way. Well, mine was but... my nickname, Bree. People call me Bree. Yeah, I'm aware of that. So then so. it was BRI, so I'm like, yay. Yeah, close enough. But anyway, all right. But all right, we'll talk about that more later. Okay, just and I promise by the end of tomorrow's uh uh the end of tomorrow's live stream, given that this is probably gonna that we're probably gonna be continuing this series, um yeah. there may be some decisions I might have to make as to how we're going to do it. Um well, yeah, just all our work I'll just is gonna be on Google Cloud. Right, right, but at, but at the same time, yeah, like I said, I got to figure out how I'm gonna do it with my guys, not not just with with assisting with your stuff yeah. and any of your help out there or whatever, but um, just stay tuned and please definitely Dad, make, sure, make sure make sure that you okay, just stop. okay, I got it. just please make sure that you tune in tomorrow to find out uh, what we decide as to how we're gonna continue these live streams into next week and the week on stuff like that because. Uh, but because, like I said, my initial plan was to only do this for the, uh, for these two weeks, but obviously we're still stuck here. So this, uh, so we're going to continue this. We're just going to figure out the logistics of uh, tonight and figure out what uh, how everything's going to play out from there. So, so stay tuned tomorrow, and we'll give we'll give that announcement there before the live stream is over. In the meantime, have a have a good uh, rest of the day. It's a nice day, at least up here in northern Jersey. Hope it's a, a nice weather day, but uh, wherever it is that you are, stay safe, stay you know, stay healthy or whatever, and just do whatever you gotta do to just you know, help everyone here beat this thing. All right. Don't buy and all the toilet paper. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make sure you don't make sure you don't do things you shouldn't be. All right. Anyway, so long. Well, let's go. We'll see you. Take care, guys. Bye. And don't buy all the hand sanitizer and stuff and like face masks and rubber gloves.